the real farmer from Douglas County. Today I'm going to share a little bit about our sprayer that we do use to control weeds and insect, insects in our uh, crops. Um, I guess first off, it's uh, we carry our product in that large stainless steel tank and then uh, that's where we mix up our herbicides or insecticides, carry it across the field and this uh, behind the sprayer is the boom. And uh, a couple features new to the equipment that is manufactured today is one of them we really strive hard to control our drift, keep, keep our uh, products on contact or in the area not to get in non-target, uh, be it uh, weeds or other people's property, you know, kind of control the insects and weeds just in our area. And what we do to, to achieve that is um, we've got sonars on the end of our boom so we can set our uh, boom height and it's automatically adjusted as we travel across the field. So we'll have a predetermined pre height above the ground or crop. Most of the times we try to stay within 20 inches of the canopy or if we're just putting on a, a the neat features with these new sprayers also to control usage and just kind of keep it so you're not lapping over they've got swath control uh, the swath control base we use gps so we can uh, take satellite imagery it will uh, not only steer the unit um, in the field if we choose it also know if you are crossing over into the path where you'd already sprayed if that happens the sprayer will automatically shut off a section of the boom so like uh, we'll do the perimeter of the field and, and that's sprayed once we cross into that to turn and go back the other way in our fields, the computer inside knows we've done that so it takes operator air out of it. And it also helps you know uh, if the wind's wrong and you're going to be drifting over onto somebody else's property, you can leave a portion of the field downwind. It'll map that show you haven't sprayed. That wind shifts two, three days later. You can come back, find where you hadn't sprayed and then fill that in. So. It's just some terrific technology. Okay, for all you that don't know, anybody that applies um, insecticide or herbicides, they have to be certified with the state, and we take courses to understand the dangers of the products, and we go, um, you have to t attend classes and take tests to prove that you understand, uh, and uh, once you've passed these tests, you every two years we go and we have refresher courses update, and then they just kind of educate us on uh, the insecticides and herbicides new that have changed and the restrictions that have come about on them products.